Hello and welcome to the CryptoBot.com. This video is about the Nano Ledger S and the Trezor Model T. So here we see the Trezor Model T, which is about two and a half inches by an inch and a half by about half an inch thick. Its connectivity is a USB-C port on the very bottom of it, which usually comes covered with a holographic sticker to make sure that it's not been tampered with. This will be the USB-C cord that should come with your device. The cord is a bit short, so I do recommend getting a longer one, but it also is able to plug into your phone, which is pretty convenient to keep in your bag from when you're traveling. So essentially, you just plug it into here and connect it to your device, whether it be a laptop, PC, Mac, Linux box, or your phone. So once it's powered on and you've set it up, you will have a pin input on the screen, which is a 240 by 240 pixel LCD screen. This is a touch screen, so once your pin number is in, you will hit the green check box as done here. So unlike the Nano, Nano Ledger S, the Trezor Model T, uh, you have to navigate to wallet.trezor.io in order to access your wallet. So once you've plugged in the USB 3.0 into your device, it should load like this. You will see your transactions. You will be able to receive, send, and sign and verify messages, as well as change the wallet you are currently displaying. You have an option to view Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, as well as a variety of other alternate currencies. And of course, one of the best features is being able to verify the address for receiving your Bitcoin on the device itself. You will be given the option to actually read through the address or have the QR code that's able to be scanned. So by clicking on QR code, or address, you can kind of alternate it back and forth. And of course, you're able to confirm that transaction by clicking the green arrow. So the Trezor Model T currently retails for about 150 euro, or which is currently around 175 US dollars. A very nice thing about this product is that you are able to actually pay in Bitcoin as well. So if you've been doing a little bit of trading, you can go ahead and pay with Bitcoin, which is a pretty convenient feature, I think, especially if you're trying to minimize your actual dollar exposure to the market. All in all, it's a very good product, though I do prefer having more of a button interface just in case the screen happens to get damaged in any way. Plus, it's just a really small screen for my pretty giant hands, to be quite honest. Now this is a Nano Ledger S, which it comes with a lanyard, which is pretty convenient for traveling, keeping it on you. As you can see, it has a stainless steel cover on the body, which pretty much looks like a uh, modern USB device. You can see it has a screen, and on top it has these two buttons. And to the very left would be the USB port. It's about 98 millimeters by 18 millimeters by 9 millimeters, and it weighs around 16 grams. It has a USB type micro B port, which is pretty much the same cord as any Android phone. It's compatible with Windows 7, Mac, 10.8 and above, Linux, and as well as Android phones if you have uh, the USB on the go port. As you can see, you navigate with the right button and left button. By hitting the right button, you can go up on your pin code which will activate once you receive your item and the left button will actually push the, the number down. So by depressing both buttons you are confirming the entry you see on your screen as I'm doing now and uh, once you have your pin code selected you will be searching for the check mark icon and also depressing the top buttons at the same time. So in order to interface with your hardware wallet, you need to go to the Chrome 
app store and you will be able to open up the app plug it in and once you've unlocked your device by entering your pin number this is the screen you should get depending on how long it's been since you've opened the wallet it might take a bit to synchronize but essentially you'll come back to this screen once that's settled you'll be able to view all the transactions you've sent and received as well as send A convenient feature here is that you're able to see the counterbalance, such as the US value for the crypto you want to send. And you also have the option to display the address on your device. So you can turn off the counter value as well, or change the currency that what you are trying to keep tabs on when you're trading. Also, the Ledger device has a Ledger Live software available off the website. Essentially, you'll set up a password, and once you've entered it, you'll have this nice looking interface. So if you don't feel like using the Chrome extension, or if you don't like the Chrome browser, you can essentially just use this on any one of your Mac or PC devices. A new feature they've included is the trading platforms that they've suggested. Uh, my personal favorite is the clean layout for the different currencies you're using as well as the manager section which makes a very seamless install for the different apps you're going to use to track the currency you want to use such as Xpense, Icon, Monero, or Neo. The only drawback being that you can only have a limited amount of applications installed on your nano device. Uh, whichever device you prefer between the Nano Ledger S and the Trezor Model T, either device will be leaps and bounds more secure than, say, an exchange wallet or a paper wallet as far as their longevity and security features. Given the record of exchanges with hacks and flaws being built in, using a hardware wallet will always be the way to go. Once again, thank you for visiting thecryptobot.com and have a nice day.